Hi, I'm Amy, this is House of Nashites, and today we are making rainbow jello. Okay, so when we're doing rainbow jello, we're going to start with the bottom layer, which is the purple or the grape layer. And we're going to try to follow the colors of the rainbow, which is Roy G. Biv. Did you learn that? Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, violet, and then purple, purple, violet. I don't know, anyway, we're not doing all the, the layers. We're just doing one purple and we're using our grape jello. So these ones, I sometimes have a hard time finding in the smaller size packets. So I like to get the small boxes when they're available. If not, I just buy the big box and use half of it. So we're going to dissolve our grape jello in, or gelatin, powdered gelatin, in one cup of boiling water. And you can do this on the stove where I just pop it in the microwave for four to five minutes until it's boiling. And then you just stir until it's dissolved. And then add one teaspoon of unflavored gelatin powder, half of the package, half of the little envelope of gelatin powder. These are going to set up more like Jello Jigglers. If you grew up in the 80s and 90s and love Jello Jigglers, like I do, um, you know that they're like finger jello, they're easy to eat with your hands. And so they set up a little firmer than most gelatin. And that little bit of extra unflavored gelatin powder is going to help it to set all the way. So just stir until that is dissolved and then we're going to pour it into our 9 by 13 pan. Okay, so now I've got that all dissolved and I'm just going to pour it into my 9 by 13 inch pan. This jello takes a little while to make. Um, it's a little bit labor intensive. I mean, you have to stir and that's it, but you have to set it between each layer, which is going to take 20 to 30 minutes. So it takes about four hours to really do this jello from start to finish. I usually do it at night once the kids are in bed um, or I'll put on a movie and just do it in between there. So I'm gonna go pop this in the fridge. Okay, so I just put my grape jello in the fridge to set. While that's setting, I'm going to work on the white layer for the jello. Um, you can go ahead and make each layer when you put the other one in the fridge because it gives it some time to cool down a little bit. If you're pouring hot, jello on top of your just set jello, you run the risk of the different layers melding together. Give it some time to cool down a little bit before you add the next layer. We have one cup of boiling water and we're going to do a full packet or yeah, a full little envelope of powdered gelatin and stir this in to dissolve. And it just takes a minute for it to dissolve in while you stir it. This wouldn't taste like anything. It wouldn't taste very good um, if you just set the gelatin like this um, because it's not sweet. There's nothing in it to flavor the unflavored gelatin. So to flavor the white layer, we are going to use sweetened condensed milk just to give it a nice creamy, sweet flavor. Really, you're going to taste the flavors of the other jellos in this rainbow jello, but the sweetened condensed milk gives you a nice creamy flavor in between that balances better. Plus it gives the nice white color. This doesn't have a, a white color to it just yet. So now that I've got the gelatin dissolved, I'm going to open my sweetened condensed milk and I'm going to pour half of the can in. Okay, and you can see already that this is turning nice and white and it will give a nice solid white layer to break up the different colors of the other jellos. This is actually enough for two layers of white, so I make two layers at a time. The reason you don't wanna make all of the white layers at the same time is this will eventually set up um, because there's plenty of gelatin in it. So I do two layers at a time and then you have to remake it a couple of times along the way. So once my grape layer is set and this has cooled a little bit, we'll pour this over the top of the grape layer. Okay, so I've got our grape, our purple layer out of the fridge and now my white layer has cooled so it's not really that hot. So now what you wanna do is you want to use three fourths of a cup of this white jello. Okay, and we're gonna pour it right over the 
grape layer. And I find that it works best to pour it over the back of a spoon or a spatula just to spread it out so that it doesn't like drill a hole into the layer underneath. And be sure when you're putting this in the fridge that you are, that you've cleared enough space to have a nice flat area for your jello so that you don't end up with crooked layers. Okay, and there's exactly three fourths of a cup left for the next layer of white. But at this point, we're going to just tilt it around a little bit so that the white completely covers. We're gonna put this in the fridge and let it set for another 20 to 30 minutes. It sets a little bit faster than the colored layers. While this is setting, I'm gonna go make my blue layer and once that's set, put the blue layer on top, repeat with the white and so on until you've got the whole jello ready to go. Okay, so we've finished the jello. It took a little while to do all of those layers, but they all have nice distinct layers and now comes the fun part. This is when we get to cut it up and eat it. So I've got a sharp knife. You wanna use one that's not serrated. It should have a smooth edge. Otherwise you're going to get little lines when you cut your jello into cubes. And this is what I'm really bad at is cutting straight lines, but you're just going to slice all the way through the jello and think about making finger food bite size cubes of jello. So you go one way and then the other direction. And then I also find it helpful to go around the edges too, just to release them from the sides of the pan. And then moment of truth, we're gonna to try to get these layers out. So the first couple you might mess up a little bit because it can be hard to get in there with a spatula, but look, they came out so great. So we've got, it's all so jiggly. We've got all the layers, the red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple. And that's our rainbow. And this is our rainbow jello, nice and jiggly. This is so fun. Like you can't not smile when you pull these cubes out. It's so much fun. So when my kids were in preschool, I used to make this for them every St. Patrick's Day and Everybody raved about it. It's it's just so much fun. Like, if you love Jello, you're going to love these rainbow Jello jiggler cubes. They're just so pretty, so bright. They're great for spring and summer, and it's like a fun treat. It takes a little while, but when you see the smiles, it's totally worth it. I'm gonna try a piece. Mm. It's so fruity and good with all the different fruit flavors. You'll love this. Thanks so much for watching. If you like this rainbow jello, be sure to like and subscribe to my channel and leave me a comment below letting me know your favorite type of jello.